Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, back with a new video though. Not back with anything right here. And this is Empire Sin. So this was a turn-based uh, Paradox game, or a Paradox published game. And uh, I kind of checked it out uh, on my own. I was on vacation, uh, traveling around, I checked it out. It was kind of, it felt a little bit early, and like most games that uh, Paradox kind of publishes or uh, things like that or is involved in, it needs some work. With the newest DLC and some work done to the game, we're going to hop in, because uh, ultimately I did enjoy the time, but I just didn't think it warranted a playthrough at the time, but... So this is the new new guy in the game from the DLC. Let's take this city. Soy la reina de Chicago. Good choice. Come on, va. So you're the boss now, are you? Funny part is, my my family originates from Chicagoland area. And uh, back then, a lot of people were into the whole gangster routine in the 1920s. And I think I actually had some family at one point uh, was in the same gang as Al Capone. But I do like the fact that uh, he's got suit shop, well-oiled machine. I feel like this is an easy... Kind of name to go with, and I kind of want to see what it's all about with that. Let's go. What are you waiting? Hey, how you doing? Yes, I'm Goldie Garno. Try not to stare, Shahi. Good choice. Hi there. It's Maggie Dyer, and she's service. Salazar Reina. Got you covered. Good decision. You and I can do plenty of business. So I'm gonna go with uh, Al Capone because the rain of fire. Word and a gun, and you can with a kind word alone. And also, I want to do a uh, brewery production. So we'll confirm this. We'll go ten neighborhoods, and we'll go fourteen factions. We'll put this up to underboss for our first playthrough, and kind of. Actually, we'll do Lieutenant, which is normal, and we'll just kind of have fun with the game. Might be a long playthrough, but I'm going to kind of explore what the game has to offer. So March 17th, 1920, Alphonse Capone arrives in Chicago. He left New York to make a name for himself. Good evening, sir. That's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. They haven't met me yet. I'll give them a taste of how we do things in New York. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Eh, she's old and steady, friend. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things there now. Swell guy. Gave me my first job. Frankie Yale, huh? The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? You're shitting me. Frankie's in Chicago? Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face plastered on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find him for you. If you help me with something. What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. 
I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale, how about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. Not sure if this is uh, actually loud enough. It should be. Uh, but I want to put on... I guess there's not a, uh... All right. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Likewise. Okay, that should be good. If not, I can always turn it up. Dow drops Alphonse off the street. For long, every house on the street will be name will know the name Capone. Okay, kind of show me the ropes. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. Chicago is a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. This precinct belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't gonna know what hit them. Okay. In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters... The action bar is below. <laughs> Each character has two... Bosses have unique abilities with special... Gotcha. Oh. oh, a big jerk. Using cover is but or half cover. Gotcha. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna come over here. Hit him. Alright. Oh god. And don't oh. you forget it. Okay, cool. We got a rifle. Attack okay. a racket in a 
precinct you don't own sets it to the ransacked state. You want to own this racket? Well, you're gonna have to take out the safe house at Depot first. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. Take over Notice this town. Notice crew members have a take. Their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your total earnings. In general, gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. Gangsters also have different professions and weapon specialties. Nora here is a... You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the... Now, hire your second crew member. Um... Now you've got yourself a squad. Just in time, too. It just so happens Ronnie's got a brewery close by. From the world map, you can see who owns okay. what. Right now, this is Ronnie's priest. All right. Need something? Kill this asshole! <laughs> It's your grave, buddy. The meat packers were expecting you. Okay, and now let's take him out. Ow, big jerk. I'm going. Oh, he's out in the open. I didn't notice that. Feel dumb there.
You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black market. Okay, so you have the black market. It's time to get yourself some. Check the stats and effects of any. Leave the shop when you have what you need. All right. Yeah, a thousand. out Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Wait, what? Um, second generation. Perfect. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna you I'm gonna take this from her. Oh, she'll take the item with her. Oh, okay. You need to move in the cover. <laughs> Breweries are well guarded, and this is a tough fight.
Throw a grenade here. This isn't good. Ow, big jerk. Ooh, nice crit there. Ow, big jerk. Bro, really? What the fuck? Big jerk. Ow. <laughs> Al Capone said, nah, bro. Okay, we got a shoddy. Nail bat, okay. Great job. Breweries are critical to a boss's empire. This brewery supplies alcohol to Ronnie's rackets. Looks like he's going dry. Who the fuck do you think you are? First my bar, and then my brewery? This is pointless. When you decide that you want to talk face to face, like a man, you know where to find me. I'll find you real soon. You picked up a new weapon in the loot from that brewery fight. And not a mo- Here you'll see our active characters Here you can see all of the weapons that your faction has available. And which weapons your character can equip. Note. Each profession is limited to certain weapon types. Select a new weapon from the faction inventory if you want to equip it to your active character. If you're low on HP after a fight, you can use your doctor to heal up. Select. 
Sit yes, downs with another boss are serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map it? to find Ronnie's safe house. What? What is it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Begin to sit down, baby. You've been a thorn in my side since you got here, Capone. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. Oh, really? Maybe I'm missing something, but who made you king of fucking Chicago? I've been doing this a long time. I know how to handle this city, and I'm telling you there's no room for someone like you. I already shut down your rackets, O'Neill. I ain't about to stop. If you got a problem with that, why don't we settle it right now? I don't need any more enemies in this town. I'm trying to be reasonable. Just get out of my town, eh? Then we can put this whole mess behind us. Your town? I'm not going anywhere, O'Neill. I'm just getting started. You don't want to go to war with me, Capone. Now I'm trying to be real nice here. You leave, and I don't burn down your fucking empire. How about it? Okay, okay. You got wax in your ears? I said I ain't interested. Let's get this over with. That's it. I'm done wasting my time with you. Guards, take care of Mr. Capone here. I don't want no witnesses. It's your funeral, Ronnie. Uh, 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 uh. Nah. Huh. This is a boss battle in the literal sense. Ruin these to bitches. win at this game, you need to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his safe house and precinct are all yours. By the way, if you get an enemy into a bleeding out state, it's worth putting them out of their misery. Perform a brutal execution, and you'll gain the bloodlust status effect, which immediately gives you extra health and heals you slowly over time. Okay. Ooh, nice crit. Wow, really? <laughs> nope. Ow. Big jerk.
damn it! Get out of here. Nice crit there. Oh, oh really? You really just do that? You bastards! Gotta be serious. You gotta be kidding me.
Damn it. They got me. Goodbye. I'm going. I'm on it. This guy just will not die. Gotcha. Understood. Okay, that's kind of how it works. I'm Makes not going to take it anymore. Perfect. <laughs> ah, you go. Okay. When you take over a precinct, you have four options available. 
occupier lets you take over a precinct with all rackets in working order. Loot and occupy still takes over the precinct, but you'll wreck some rackets in the process. Okay. The sack and raise options won't transfer ownership to you. Sack wrecks the place for the faction that owns the precinct, but keeps them in control. Rays removes control of the precinct from that faction entirely and transfers it over to thugs. Okay. You can't raise a precinct run by thugs. Use second rays sparingly and strategically. This is the precinct screen. You can get a good look at the state of your precinct from here. Looks like you've inherited Ronnie's thug problem. If you want to make the most of your precinct, You'll have to do something about them. At the top, you can see how many racket slots this precinct can hold, how many slots are available, how many are already built, and how many are occupied by thugs. Okay. There are five racket types. Speakeasies, breweries, brothels, casinos, and loan sharks. Speakeasies can't function without alcohol, but they've got a big capacity for customers. Breweries make the alcohol that runs your empire, so make sure you've got enough of them. Keep an eye on your police activity, because the cops love shutting breweries down. Okay. Brothels may not be your big earners, but they don't need much alcohol to function, and they increase your customer cap in the precinct. Casinos have variable income, depending on how many big winners you get. Okay. Also draw more customers to the precinct. Striking a balance between your rackets is key to making sure you can support all those thirsty customers. Last, you've got loan sharks. You need to make an investment to build your first loan shark racket. They make decent money, and they don't need alcohol to function. But there's always the risk of people defaulting on their loan. In general, the higher you honor, the lower risk of default. If someone does try to get away without paying, you've got to think long and hard about what to do with them. Equipping available racket slots in your precinct provides you with reinforcements if your safe house or depot is attacked. No one else can build up in your precinct while you control it, but there's always a chance that you can be attacked. You can see how much and what type of alcohol your precinct is consuming on the left side of the screen. The default for alcohol is to serve your best booze available, but you can change that here. Upgrade your breweries to produce better quality alcohol and make more money from your booze-slinging joints. You've also got improvement slots which apply bonuses to your precinct. They affect your rackets, police activity, and customers. You have a limited number of improvement slots available, so use them wisely. Keep taking precincts in the neighborhood, and eventually you'll achieve total neighborhood domination. Different neighborhoods provide specific bonuses once you have total domination over them. Explore the city to get a taste for the different offerings out there. Okay. Select a racket to see what kind of upgrades are available. Or equip a new racket if you've got an empty slot. Close the screen when you're ready. For most rackets, you've got four different ways you can class up your joints. Security, deflect, ambience, and word of mouth. Breweries have production, alcohol quality, and storage upgrades too. Safe houses have security, production, and alcohol quality upgrades. The information panel to the right shows your upgrade's current state and what you'll get in the next. Close the precinct screen when you're ready to continue. All right, so you got eight hundred dollars. This upgrades booze to ten. This will give us better quality. My storage. Is 
600. Okay. So I'm dead. Good for you, but my troubles are over. Yours are just getting started. Congratulations. You got your first safe house. Defend it at all costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. Take adjacent precincts to create depots and a supply line back to your safe house. Keep your supply line intact. Like everything else, your safe house needs security. It also has a small brewery in case the feds shut down everything else. You can upgrade as you need to, but to win at sin, you're going to need more than that. Right now, you'll need to do the legwork, but eventually, you'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. So, what now? Well, that's up to you, boss. You've got the tools to take over this city. How you do it is up to you. You've got a precinct under your control, but it's in rough shape. Clean it up, kick those thugs out, and you'll be well on your way. Good luck, Kingpin. This is the Black Book. From here, you can see which gangsters are available for hire, okay. their relationships, their profession, and how much notoriety you need to hire them. You'll notice that some gangsters are grayed out. That's because they won't work for just anybody. You've got to gain notoriety, knock over some rackets, and maybe take out a few thugs, and you'll be well on your way to increasing notoriety and getting bigger and better gangsters. Select a gangster to learn more about them. Hi. There are three key things you've got to know about every gangster. The first thing is loyalty. Loyalty is a measure of their time with you. The longer they're with you, the higher their loyalty goes. The higher their loyalty, the lower their cost. And the less likely they are to flip if the cops get to them. The second thing is morale. Morale is a measure of how satisfied they are. Morale goes up and down depending on how things are going. When an enemy gets clipped, morale is going to go up. The more satisfied a gangster is, the better they perform. The third thing is traits. Traits are reflective of a gangster's experience before they met you. But they evolve through gameplay, too. Traits affect all kinds of things, from their actions to their interactions with others. Some even affect your entire empire. Okay. There's plenty to learn on the gangster's rap sheet. So it's Okay, I got it. So How you doing, boss? Oh, okay. So that's Does not like her. And her.
So I know there's some people that are... That I think that are real life. Comes in with a Thompson. Beautiful day, huh? How's it going? Another sniper rifle? Probably not. What's going on? Vita. Well, why can't I hire him? Is he already hired by someone? I don't have enough notoriety, that's why. A Thompson? Okay. How's it going? Let's go with Tank Miller. Actually, I like Tank Miller. You want the best? You're looking at him. Gotcha. Okay. The Warring Twenties. Gotcha. 
We're going to come over here and... That will be the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.